What's going on gamers? Welcome back to the Gamer Visuals channel and you know what? I thought I had already made my last video on Hogwarts Legacy before the game came out, but you know, they just had to go ahead and release another trailer. And now this one is the actual release trailer for the game and in this video, we're going to go through it a little bit. I actually just did it on a, a stream with a buddy of mine, Jack, that I do my podcast with. So we went through it, checked it out, and we're going to go ahead and put it in this video for you guys right now. Listen, so last time the last time we watched one of these, um, we saw a bunch of stuff. That was a long one. The, the gameplay, I think that was like 10 minutes long, wasn't it? Uh, it gave you a lot of features as into the sense of like the open, more of the open world type. And right. Uh, the uh fighting experiences that one was more of like it was actually showing a lot of the game mechanics and a lot of the stuff we're going to be doing this one is like a straight like release trailer like this okay. one is like basically making you hype that the game is going to be out next week and i love saying that i can't wait i can't wait R ricky ricky's staying up till midnight he's he's, he's getting oh you guys what, what, when is out. uh the seventh yeah tuesday the seventh um i believe pc gets to preload tomorrow on steam as well and i'm going to be doing that so no, oh, Ricky's excited. You guys will see. You guys will see. Anyway, let's check this thing out and let's see what they have to offer us now. Here we go. All right. So first shot, Hogwarts again. We got a guy sneaking into the uh, the hall. And so this shot right here, I want to talk about this. The book and everything flying around. Like, I don't think that's like an. That's probably just a cinematic. So look, look at this. Look at look at this freaking game. So here, I want to talk about where is it at? Where is it at? There's a thing coming that I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, this right here. What the heck is this class that we're going to be in? I think this is like the transfiguration class. So if I'm, if, what's actually, up? I have a bit of input and I may know this. What's up? So I know that there's a difference between Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. But the way yes. that she did the thing and it had the transition form. Uh -huh. It had the transition form from Fantastic Beasts, so maybe it's like that kind of class with the beasts. Because you see ah, how there's butterflies. You might be right. Did you see, you see the like cages that? back here? Yeah. You might be right, Jack. You might be right. And he, maybe she's teaching like, uh, like yeah, the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them class. Who knows? I, I know a little that's bit. A good, I know, that's I know a, a little. You do know a little bit, Jack. That's that's, that's good. That's a good point. But I, so I want to see this right here. What did she? Did she like turn this? Let's go back. So that that would be transfiguration. What she just did. She turned something into a butterfly. She turned like a goblet into a butterfly. So we're going to be able to do that maybe. And what the heck is it? So this right here might be what you're talking about. But I've, is this a this might be? Yeah, like he's that's the animals right there. Yeah. Like he's basically like making an animal out of, the, of his wand. And then look at this right here. So. There's the the yeah. herbology class, which we already know in this, you can actually uh, use mandrakes and stuff like that as part of like uh, the combat in the game. You can actually like um, use like the, you can throw them out and they'll actually like, you know, do the, the screaming they do and they'll like stun your enemies and stuff like that, which is kind of oh. cool. Yep. So this right here is pretty cool. I saw this in the trailer and I'm like, uh, what, what is this? What is this teacher doing? <laughs> she, she's teaching, she's teaching us how to levitate people. So we know this is going to be a big feature in combat as well. Uh, you see it in a lot of the, the trailers, um, and the combat gameplay where like you can actually use your wand to lift people up and slam them back down on the ground. And like, that's how you defeat your enemies and all that. So yeah, it'll be, uh, be pretty cool. Let me see. Let's, let's watch that. So like basically she kind of tells you like to oh this is the most interesting part to me you actually get to go it looks like by this right here you actually get to go either it, it might be Ollivanders or something like that you actually get your wand that you that you I mean that you select so I did a video on this already I'll link it for you guys it'll be up there um on how I like got my house chosen um, and I got my Patronus chosen. And I got my wand chosen for me. You can do it on the, uh, what do you call it? The Harry Potter club. And I'll link that in the description. Um, and you can actually import that into Hogwarts legacy, all the stuff that you got and your character will have it in the game. So That's this dope. is, ba it's super dope, right? Like this, and this is going to, this is basically showing you, like you see the model right here. It'll change based on what you got like what you imported pretty much and i i think maybe you get to go to all and you get your wand but it's gonna be that wand 
<clears throat> so the, the one that I got chosen uh, from from that will basically show up here, which will be pretty freaking cool. And and then that's what you'll use throughout the entire game. And then this, I don't know what this is. Oh, that's your room of requirement. They just showed. Um, and it looks like a house elf kind of shows that to you, which is kind of cool. And you notice right here, look, that wand that it showed he got, it's the same one right there. Nice. So that is the one. I noticed that earlier when I watched this. You get, you will use that throughout the entire game. I'm pretty sure. And a lot of people are speculating, like if you can upgrade your wand and do anything to it. But like in any of the freaking like movies, does any other, does any wizard or witch have a different wand? Up, like do they upgrade their wands? No, unless it breaks, and they have to use a different one. I guess Harry got the elder wand at the end and stuff like that. But like that doesn't count. You know what I mean? Like everybody has their own wand. The wand chooses the wizard. Everybody, come on. Okay, so I thought that was pretty interesting. So like, and then it shows a lot of other stuff. So like this, this scene right here, um, in the in the audio, it's basically saying like, uh, there's like a voice that kind of says like, oh, we're 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 tired of seeing this uh, this Hogwarts student or this fifth year that is uh, that is always out and around the castle doing all this different stuff. So it seems like your character is going to end up being this person that is involved in a lot of the like strange happenings around like not just around hogwarts but like outside it of course and you're going to get into a lot of trouble especially with this guy i've seen this guy before in a lot of the trailers and he looks like he's might he might be a bad guy that you're going to have to fight or do some kind of thing with and this i have no idea what this is somebody probably somebody probably knows what this is but as you see right here let me go back where is this so this guy drops a tear into this and i don't know what that is but anybody let me know what that is if you guys know but this right here jack this is what i'm talking about that wand thing you're in ollivanders that's the wand shop so it looks like in the game you'll actually get to go choose your wand so they were everybody's speculating that you're not going to get to go to diagon alley and they i think they even said it but like ollivanders is in diagon alley so I would say based off of like other past games and first uh, solo games and things like that, it, it'll be one of those things where it's a cutscene type thing and right. you can see it just for a second. You think so? And then it takes you right back. I think I, yeah. I, if, the, if like they're maybe like maybe you get to go through. do like get your school supplies mm -hmm. and then that's it. And then, you, yeah. then you're in, like thrust into the game. Maybe it's like, yeah, you're right. Maybe it's like a beginning cutscene of the game. That would be that would be pretty cool. Honestly, if like like you get your letter. We already know you get your letter. They already showed that. Um, you get your letter, and then you get to you take the train. You go to you go you go to buy your school supplies, and like that is all like the prologue of the game. I wonder if I just predicted it. You think I just did? Probably. That's probably the prologue of the it, game. It, it, it wouldn't surprise me. Because apparently your character is a transfer student because you're already a fifth year. So like you're a transfer student, but you're still gonna have to buy your school supplies for the year. So like, where do you get them? You gotta go to you gotta go you have to go to Diagon Alley. There you so go. I, I don't know, but hey, that looks like all of Anders to me. See, it's the same guy, same guy. And so it looks like you actually get to choose your wand. So that's pretty cool. I always thought he was an interesting character. And so, yeah, and so and so this right here. Oh, so that wasn't all of Ander, by the way. That he he lived. Uh, that this must be a descendant of his because that shop has been around. What did I say? It's 382 BC. I swear to God, if that number is correct and I remember that from the, the book, I'm a genius. But I think it says it says the sign. It says I think it says. Should I check it? Should I check it, Jack? Go honestly. Go for it. And if you did, all Hold credit on. to you. Come on, Ollivander's shop. Find one. I oh my god! I just wrecked everyone. <laughs> did you actually get it? I did. That's hilarious. That's how much of a the, nerd with this I the, am. Check this out. The pure nerd. Look, find one since 382 BC. Man, I'm good. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, so right here, um, this this scene right here, they showed. Uh, this is basically like introducing your character as. This guy, he basically your character is going to be a, a a different type of wizard or witch in in that they have this affinity for this like ancient magic. They're able to see this ancient magic, and that's part of the storyline of the game. And not everybody can can see it or interact with it, but you can as this player. And that is why you're so important to the story. And so you're seeing him interact with it. And this right here is pretty cool. 
This almost looks like wizard's chess. I don't know, but it kind of looks like it would be a wizard chess board, or it might be some kind of thing where you practice using your wand. You might practice combat, but it almost, to me, that looks when like I first it would be a saw boss it. Fight. You think that so? Looks like, that looks like a boss fight type. A boss cinematic. fight type thing? Okay, okay. Might be. See, like this. Oh, go back. Go back. It's like it's like for a split second. So, yeah, that. That's definitely now, a so boss it's, fight. It's not a chess board. So maybe it's like, maybe it's because you're with the same. No, that's actually one of your teachers, I think, actually. That's not the wand guy. So, yeah, maybe you're actually, you have to fight these guys. I don't know. Maybe. All right, let's keep going. Oh, here's the animals. Um, That's a grab hook or grab horn. You can actually uh, tame those. This thing, no idea. I think that's a mountain troll. Uh, I'm guessing you're going to have to fight that. It looks like an evil one just because its eyes are red. So, yeah, you're going to probably have to fight one of those. He turns as you, out being as your you, best friend. As you level up. I mean, maybe you can make it your best friend. That'd be kind of cool. Um, and then, yeah, oh, I'm just oh, kidding. Oh, never mind. He, he vaporizes <laughs> <laughs> him. They were like, he can be your best friend. The next shot, he vaporizes him. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. Anyway, let's keep going here. Uh, and here's another one. So this one, so these guys, the goblins, these are 100% bad guys in the game. You're gonna like that's the, that's the whole part of the storyline. The goblins are doing lots of really really bad things and all that stuff, and uh, and you're gonna have to fight against those guys. Um, but it looks like they somehow had some dark magic to use to use to find that thing. And it looks like you're uh, oh this thing, it's a hippogriff. We can fly these. We know that. Um, you get one of these for you actually get an onyx one for pre-ordering the game, um, like a black colored one for pre in the game um and then I, I believe one of these uh this is showing one that's like being uh held by those captors or whatever you have to save it and this looks like a gigantic like a boss fight i don't know what you're fighting here but it looks like one of the bosses and here is the dragon fighting ring jack they showed this again so it looks like these um these dark wizards or whoever they are um have these collars around the dragons and they basically use them to uh make them fight like a like a like i don't know like two chickens fighting in a cock fight and so maybe right here you see with your your friend poppy she's called uh you're supposed to uh save it and there's that guy again as you saw this guy it looks like you and this guy are gonna have to have it out together oh, like you're yeah. gonna duel each that, other that, that's definitely he's yeah. following you or something yeah like he is gonna keep his eye on you as as you progress through the story and you're gonna end up having to fight this dude for sure um, there you go. There's the hippogriff again. Um, probably just another cutscene, but as you can see, like the this looks really cool. Like the broom flight and all that, man. Oh, they showed so much of that in the last gameplay reveal of everybody, um, of everybody playing the game. Man, I can't wait. That's gonna be so fun. Um, and here's all the here's the combat again with the magic orbs. Did I ever tell you what that's about, um, Jack? The uh, like the orbs, like the they're color coded based on what spell you have to use to break them. So like that's a it's a visual thing so that way like once you get the feel of like the controller and which buttons correspond to uh, certain certain colors you can just tap it break their break their uh, little little magical shield there. And yeah, and again, combat looks amazing. And then this right here, this is you talking to your friend Poppy. It's one of the storylines. This is a dark wizard right here who is one of the people it looks like that keeps uh, magical animals captive. And as right now he's keeping a dragon act a captive, but I think. You end up breaking the dragon out, and the dragon's not happy with those guys. So then he mm. breathes fire. This right here, this shot, amazing. This is the uh, this is the the usual, you know, what do you call it? The hall, the great hall. And there's that lectern that uh, Dumbledore always would speak from right here with the the eagle and all that. Um, and it looks like you'll spend a lot of time in the great hall, which is really cool. There's the floating candles that you guys would expect. Um, which looks really nice. So apparently you get to raise a goblet. Um, so maybe you get to drink alcohol in this game. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> but anyway, Hogwarts nice. Legacy, everyone. Hogwarts Legacy. Round of applause. <laughs> round of applause. I haven't even played the game and I'm already just... I don't know, man. I can't say anything. I have no words. I just can't wait to play it. That's it. Live the unwritten. So you're writing your story as you go. We've been waiting for a, a wizard game like this 
for so long and I cannot wait to play it. Okay, everyone, that's it. Now this will probably, I'm saying that now, but I think it probably will be my last video I'm gonna make on this before the game actually releases. And then of course I'll be streaming it, making more content on it, all that kind of stuff. So tell me what you guys thought about the little uh, release trailer that just came out uh, recently and uh, what your guys' thoughts on all the stuff that we went through in the video today are and uh, what you're most excited for. So go ahead and tell me down in the comments and if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys go ahead and like it. And also, if you guys want to see more content on Hogwarts Legacy, especially me streaming the game, if you guys are still on the fence about buying it or whatever, uh, get subscribed with those notifications on, and then uh, you guys will be notified on when I stream or when I release another video. But until then, catch you guys later.